the previous uh, uh, video we have seen the chemistry of some of the dopaminergic agonists like bromocriptin and bromocriptin. so in this video i will be dealing with chemistry of the some more uh, agents anti parkinsonism drugs like uh, chemistry of the benzotropin as well as amantadine so let us first deal with the benzotropin so this is the structure of the benzotropin so you can see it is having a tropin ring system uh, and this uh, tropin ring system uh, also having diphenyl methane group and this uh, benzotropin also like bromocryptin is usually uh, available in combination with the methane sulf uh, methylate that is methane sulf uh, sulfate the benzotropin so then we get benzotropin methylate and this is the nomenclature of the benzotropin that is a 3 benzohydryl oxytropin methane sulfonate so let us see its synthesis so its synthesis is right from the diphenyl methane to phenyl groups which are linked by a methane group so this uh, diphenyl methane is first brominated by using bromine so one of the hydrogen is replaced by a bromine so it's like a uh, free radical substitution reactions of alkane so one of the hydrogen is replaced with bromine so we get bromo derivative of diphenyl methane now this bromo derivative of diphenyl methane is treated with tropin this is the structure of tropin in the presence of sodium hydroxide then what happens the hydrogen from the tropin alcoholic moiety and the bromine from the bromo diphenyl methane will be removed and this oxygen of tropin will be linked to the methylenic carbon of the diphenyl methane so thus we get the benzotropin the, in order to get the benzotropin in salt form we will be treating with methane sulfonic acid so this uh, sulfonic acid methane sulfonate part will be added hydrogen will be taken up by the nitrogen utilizing the lone pair of electrons present on the nitrogen hydrogen combines here so nitrogen becomes quaternary so it is getting positive charge and the remaining uh, negative addendum will be added to the benzotropin. So thus we are getting finally benzotropin methylate. Coming to the metabolism of the benzotropin. Uh, these are the some of the uh, possible metabolic pathways which are given in a uh, article. So benzotropin it will undergo both phase 1 reactions as well as phase 2 biotransformation reactions. So in a process to undergo phase 1 reaction it will undergo hydroxylation reaction. So, four prime group that is phenyl groups will be given uh, 1 prime, 2 prime. The uh, um, carbon of the phenyl group will be given 1 prime. Thus, the para carbon will be getting the 4 prime position. So, the hydroxy group will be introduced at the para position of this benzene ring system. Either this benzene ring system or, either, or this phenyl ring system. So, thus we get 4 hydroxy benzotropin, 4 prime hydroxy benzotropin. And similarly, N oxidation also a kind of phase 1 reaction only. So, the nitrogen of the benzotropin will uh, undergo N oxidation. So, it gives benzotropin N oxide. And also another phase 1 reaction that is N demethylation. As we see, uh, this in tropin ring system is a N methyl group. So, this methyl group will be removed by a process called N demethylation. So, as a result of which we get N dismethyl benzotropin so benzotropin n oxide 4 prime benzotropin 4 prime hydroxy benzotropin and n desmethyl benzotropin these are the metabolic uh, products metabolites as a result of the phase 1 reactions like n oxidation hydroxylation and demethylation reactions so once these metabolites are formed they will further undergo hydroxylation like in case of benzotropin n oxide again uh, phenyl groups any one of these phenyl groups will be undergoing hydroxylation so we get 4 prime hydroxy benzotropin n oxide and the uh, nor derivative also undergo that is n desmethyl benzotropin also undergo the reaction hydroxylation so as a result of which we get n desmethyl 4 prime hydroxy benzotropin okay so these are the uh, possible metabol metabolic pathway for the benzotropin drug coming to the amantadine chemistry chemistry of amantadine so this is the structure of the amantadine it is having an adamantine ring system with a primary amine group and one of the analog of the amantadine is known as dimantadine so the structural difference you can find here in the amantadine it is a primary amine group but here in case of dimantadine the adamantine ring system and the nitrogen are linked by a carbon with a uh, with a ethyl group here branch ethyl methyl group
business. So this amantadine is a dopamine facilitator. So as I said earlier, it is a primary amine with a pKa value of 10.8. It's a synth synthetic pathway. So, as I said, it is an adamantane derivative. So, the starting molecule will be ad adamantane. We can synthesize it from adamantane. So, this adamantane uh, first will be brominated by using bromine. So, the one of the carbon of the ring carbon will be undergoing bromination. So, we get bromo adamantane. This bromo adamantane will be treated with methyl cyanide in the presence of sulfuric acid. Then, this bromo will be replaced by acetyl amino group. So, we will be getting N-acetyl amantadine. So, now from this we can get amantadine by simply removal of this acetyl group that is uh, like a deprotection. Uh, so, this uh, uh, hydrolysis of the uh, this NHCOCH3 here, so amide hydrolysis will be performed by using sodium hydroxide. So, then amide hydrolysis takes place so that acetyl group will be removed in the form of acetic acid. So, there will be generation of primary amine group from this. So, thus we get finally amantadine. So, thus amantadine can be prepared from adamantane by bromination followed by treatment with methyl cyanide in the presence of sulfuric acid. Then finally amide hydrolysis we can get amantadine. Coming to the metabolism. So, as per the literature, the classical literature that is textbooks, uh, the, as per the information available in them, it is excreted unchanged in the urine. But one of the latest article is saying that this uh, will be undergoing a, uh, a biotransformation reaction that is n esterylation reaction because it is the only uh, reactive site present in the structure of amantadine. Remaining all are car carbohydrate chain only like adamantine chain only. So there is no reactive site here or except the amine functionality, primary amine, primary amine functionality. So due to the presence of this primary amine functionality, it will undergo n esterylation reaction to give n acetyl adamantine. So this is the structure of n acetyl amantadine. So this is one of the possible metabolic pathway for the amantadine. So this is about the structure of synthesis as well as metabolism of amantadine. Thank you.